classify this target letter regarding January 6th to be the most dangerous, treacherous legal arrow directed at the 45th president to date? Well, I don't think it's the strongest case that the Democrats have in their lawfare against President Trump. But what this case may bring for the Democrats is they may be able to use a novel, I would say bogus legal theory under the 14th Amendment passed after the Civil War against civil war insurrectionists to try to to try to get a court to say that Trump is disqualified from uh, running for president again in 2024. And I, I think that's the path that they're pursuing here. It's not going to work politically whatsoever. There's no chance the American people are going to let Merrick Garland and his handpicked D.C. prosecutor, along with a D.C. judge and a D.C. jury, decide who the Republican nominee is going to be in 2024. So you're referring to the insurrection clause of Article 3 of the 14th Amendment, which would theoretically, as you said, disqualify Trump from running. This is coming a little bit later. We saw, obviously, Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg, Jack Smith's first, the document hoax, and now this. Why are they so hell-bent? on theoretically getting Trump off the ballot if they choose to go down this way, Mike? Well, I think that they thought that their indictments against Trump may hurt him politically. And we saw with Alvin Bragg's bogus indictment of Trump for the non-crime of a businessman settling a nuisance claim, uh, that that indictment actually sealed the Republican nomination for Trump. And then we saw with Jack Smith's bogus indictment for uh, for a former president having his presidential records in the office of former president, which is allowed by the Presidential Records Act, I think that helps uh, President Trump take the lead over Joe Biden in the general election. I think this indictment, I think that they think it's the death nail. The de Democrats think it's the death nail with this insurrection clause, Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, to disqualify Trump from the ballot. But what I don't think that Democrats understand is this, this is going to enrage real Americans in, in real America. Uh, Mike, you said this is a shaky legal theory at best, this insurrection clause. Why do you believe this will or will not work when Jack Smith attempts to do so? Well, because first there was no insurrection. Uh, the, the, the Democrats tried to pursue an insurrection theory with the January 6th commission among House Democrats, and they could not come up with any evidence whatsoever of an insurrection. How many insurrectionists get to a Senate floor of a nation's capital and take selfies and don't burn the place down, right? It was just a silly legal argument to say that this was an insurrection. It's also an even more silly legal argument to say that the 14th Amendment passed after the Civil War to end slavery, the Civil War amendments to end slavery, including the 14th Amendment to bring due process and equal protection to all Americans, including black Americans. And it has this section three, this, this disqualification clause for people who took up arms against the United States during the Civil War to break up the Union. If they think that January 6th is even comparable to the Civil War to break up the Union over slavery, they are gonna get there, there's going to be a tremendous political backlash by the American people. And real quick, Mike, before I let you go, uh, the January 6th defendant cases that have been ongoing since Biden has taken office have primarily taken place in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., where Biden's DOJ is in your perfect conviction rate regarding those. Do you believe that this will take place in D.C.? And obviously, what does that mean for President Trump if it does so? Well, there's no question that this case, if they bring this January 6th uh, indictment against Trump, they'll do it in D.C. You have like a 95 percent Trump deranged jury pool, uniparty judges. The D.C. Court of Appeals is controlled by Democrats. This will have to get resolved by the Supreme Court, and it needs to happen sooner rather than later. Jack Smith is very used to getting overturned by the Supreme Court unanimously, like he did uh, eight to nothing, which is nearly impossible to do. But Jack Smith found a way when he tried to take out a potential Republican presidential contender, Virginia Governor Bob McDonald. Mike Davis, Article 3 Project, thank you so much for your time. We always appreciate your insight. Thank you.